He's a three-time All-Pro, but he only played nine games last season before tearing his Achilles, and he turns 30 later this month. Jenny, can Sherman still be a premier cornerback? Absolutely, um, because he's made of the right stuff, Skip. This guy went to college as a wide receiver, turned himself into an elite-level corner. Now, I know, and everybody's like, well, he tore his Achilles. We have some, some, some history with this injury in cornerbacks. Brent Grimes, at the very same age, tore his Achilles yep. and went to three straight Pro Bowls after returning. So there's no question in my mind that Richard Sherman, him being made up of what he's made of, will return to the level that we're used to seeing Richard Sherman play at. Um, last season, he was having he had the second lowest yards per target of his career. For, for the time he played. For, for he, yeah. yeah. It was to November 9th. Yeah. So he played nine yeah. games. Yeah. And at that point in time, it was the second lowest yep. yards per target of his career. Mm -hmm. And the thing is, Skip, is that we, we're not, I'm not surprised. You're not surprised. Most of us is not surprised by this. They tried to move Richard Sherman perfectly healthy last year. So we're not surprised that coming off an, ace, uh, an Achilles injury, mm -hmm. about to turn 30, with 11 million, they can save 11 million dollars. So I don't really think anyone is surprised by this move. Yeah. But the question was, can he return to the level that we're used to seeing Richard Sherman? I have no doubt in my mind that he will, because of how he's built, how he's made. You don't get to where he got from Compton. Go to Stanford as a wide receiver. Turn yourself into a de defensive back. Mm -hmm. Graduate from Stanford. Mm -hmm. Become an elite level. Hall of Fame consideration worthy cornerback mm -hmm. and not be made of the right stuff. I have no I have no questions about Richard Sherman's ability to get back to the level that we used to see. Mm. I don't have any question about him being made of the right stuff, but what I don't know is if his Achilles tendon is made of the right stuff because it's the one injury I cannot predict. Yeah. Even ACL ruptures, tear up everything, MCL, ACL, I give that a little better chance than I give the Achilles. And I agree there have been Big success stories, I can show you a whole lot of not success mm -hmm. stories. It's mysterious. It's unpredictable. I don't know. I would bet probably 60, 40, yes, mm -hmm. that he could come back full speed. Yes. He wasn't the fastest guy to no. begin with. He's a long strider, but he plays more with strength and anticipation. Long, yes. You know, They don't challenge him, though. <sighs> they do not challenge him. So he is about to turn 30 years of age. Does he have, he thinks he's got four or five good years left. He, he well might. Right. So when I heard yesterday, when it became clear to me, they just might flat out release Richard Sherman. Right. Wow. He might just hit the open market unrestricted. No, don't have to trade anything right. for it. Right. Wow. What team jumped to the top of my mind? Cowboys. The Dallas Cowboys, because a man by the name of Chris Richard had coached Richard Sherman his whole career in Seattle, first as his defensive backs coach and then as his coordinator for the past three seasons. Chris Richard got fired at the end of last season in which the Seattle Seahawks fell to 9-7, and seven, but they were injury-wrapped, as you know. Mm -hmm. But it seemed like the Seahawks were about ready to start into full rebuild mode, especially on defense. Correct. So, Chris Richard is out. Ken Norton Jr. is in as the new coordinator in Seattle. They're going a whole new direction. And Chris Richard wound up in Dallas as sort of the co I'm, I'm going to finesse this. He's kind of the co defensive coordinator with Rod Marinelli. But Chris is over the passing game defense. Mm -hmm. So, he's going to handle the defensive backs and how, how they strategize against the pass. So, wouldn't it be made to order? that a Chris Richard, <coughs> who's kind of a kindred spirit with Richard Sherman, because remember, Chris Richard, for those who don't know, grew up in Carson, California, which is next door to Compton, California, just mm -hmm. south of where we are right now, west side of Los Angeles. Mm -hmm. So they had kindred spirit there. Chris Richard went to USC and was a pretty good cornerback for Pete Carroll, third round draft pick of Seattle, then wound up, played four years and wound up coaching for Pete Carroll in Seattle. So he's been a Pete Carroll disciple from the start, and, mm -hmm. and I don't know what Richard Sherman thinks of him, but it sounds like he liked him. Yeah. Sound like seemed like they got along very well. And I would guess that Chris Richard could, quote-unquote, handle a sometimes volatile Richard Sherman mm -hmm. about as well as any coach in the National Football League. Right. So I'm thinking if he's right, if, if that Achilles, I, I don't know if you can – can you bring him in and check? You have to. You, you need to take a look at it. Skip, when history looks back on the 
the Seattle Seahawks, it will say they started disassembling this team in 2018. This team was disassembled in Super Bowl 49. Okay, but I'm, I'm talking about Chris Richard and the Cowboys. Oh, yeah. Just completely interrupted my train here. So you're, did you no. just dismiss that? Do you, what, I, can I finish on you, that? You want every elite corner to go to the Cowboys. I don't. I never want him to. I want him to go to the Cowboys. You want to get a system. Rod Marinelli is a system guy. And they said no to Revis. We're, we're, they're, they're weak at safety, but they now, have now drafted three corners that they really like. Three young corners. But here's the thing. They got Jordan Lewis and Wouzier and Anthony Brown. But you have to understand, are you going to yeah. let Richard Sherman play like he played in Seattle? I, 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 Chris Richard just took over the defense. He's got the passing game. So are you going to let him do with what he, the, what the, he does? Okay, that's the question. Okay. Okay. What and, you, and by the way. What do you think Jerry's going to do? By the way, remember, Richard Sherman is now representing Richard Sherman. Yes. He doesn't have an agent. Okay. And the reason they have fallen apart is he says, you owe me $11 million this coming year, Seattle. And Seattle is saying, take less. And nobody has reported how much less. Right. But I assume they're saying, we'll give you $6 million. I don't know what it right. is. Maybe half, maybe right. whatever. Okay. And he's saying, no, I, I, I know I'm worth $11 million. So I look at, speaking of Revis, what did the Patriots do in that pivotal 2014 Oh, they, paid, they, they, they matched him out. They okay. paid him like $13, 14000000 million. Well, they paid him okay. $12 million, but he wasn't coming off the immediate injury, right. he had ruptured his ACL two years right. before that. Then he went to Tampa and played all 16 games, and then he was free again. Right. And so Bill Belichick says, you know what? I'm going to take a plunge here. Because right. that was a lot for Bill Belichick to pay $12 million. Okay, but let, here's the thing. You like Chris Richard. Are the Cowboys, are, is Jerry going to let Chris Richard run his defense, which is a a lurk, a cover one, cover three defense, okay. or are they going to play the Tampa two? So how are you going to use Richard Sherman? If you want to get Richard Sherman, are you going to let him play like Richard Sherman? Okay. If Richard can get back to 90% of Richard Sherman, he's better than these young corners they have. Yeah, he but, could take them up a level. But you fell in love. Richard Sherman was Richard Sherman playing a style. I agree. Are the Cowboys going to play that style? I don't know. So how much stock are they going to put in Chris Richard? I don't know. They gave him a big title now. That's a big – he's sort of the co-defensive coordinator. Well, don't you think if you need to know that, if you want Richard Sherman to come on board, Richard Sherman is not a Tampa 2 or cover 2 corner, Skip. Yeah, but he can play zone. They played a lot of zone. I saw a lot of zone. If you notice, when the Patriots are a big zone team, but when they got Revis and they had Browner, they mm -hmm. locked them up. Yeah. Because that's what they do really well. Mm -hmm. Richard Sherman made all those all pro teams and Pro Bowl as a single corner. Okay, but just remember this, and I once got into it with Richard Sherman about this very topic. He was backed up by yeah, I think the camp. two two best safeties yeah. in pro football yeah. at their height. Right. When when the, the Legion right. of Boom was was booming, right. they were the two best safeties. Right. So you had real backup, man. You, yeah. You're thinking, I know, I know they can cover. Yeah, for Earl, him, could right? cover, Earl could cover a lot of ground. A lot of times they had a uh, cam dropping down. What they call yeah. robber coverage, alert yeah. coverage, and he was picking across, picking off crossing routes. That, you know that cr comes across. My the field. Cowboys have Jeff Heath and Byron uh, Jones, and I just, I don't. They're not those two guys. Skip, I agree. If you're going to let Richard Sherman be Richard Sherman, yeah. this could be a great pick for the Cowboys. But if you're not. And see, that's the mistake that people make. You like a guy, oh, this guy can really play, and then you get him and you don't let him do what he did where okay. he was at. I agree. So my gut tells me they should probably do this, but I don't know how much Jared would want to pay Richard Sherman. Would he right. pay him $11 million? Because here's the thing that Richard Sherman's saying. Richard mm -hmm. Sherman says, okay, y'all want me to take $6 million, but you want me to make the plays as if I was making $11 million. Correct. So he says, okay, if you want me to make the plays like I'm making $11 million, yep. play me, pay me $11 million. Yeah. Now, do I agree with your flashpoint analogy that it, it all started to go south yes. on that one final play of the suit? I do. Yes. I agree. So they needed to c clear the decks yes. of that because all those defenders left. Now, Earl Thomas is still there, and I think they're going forward with him. Mm -hmm. But I think they decided. I think John Schneider and Pete Carroll finally decided, we just got to start over yeah. because no, everybody lost heart mm -hmm. for what we used to have. Mm -hmm. They just decided we screwed it up. And I believe they're going to build around yep. Russell. I think they're going to construct yeah. this team differently than it was before because those were so such strong personalities, Skip. Mm -hmm. And see, it was fine, you know, letting them speak out. These guys have their opinion. Okay, I got no problem with that. But then they started speaking out against their coach. And then they started speaking out against the quarterback. Yep. That's too much. In, in, in 2016, 
Richard Sherman spoke out publicly against the coach twice. twice. They had two big clashes. Yeah. Okay. And he said it public. You know, Skip, if, if there are, if you, we've seen players get into it with coaches on the sideline. Yeah. We've seen it. We would have never known what the conversation was. Richard Sherman volunteered that information. He did. And then when he did, we were looking like, mm. did you did you hear what he said, Skip? Because mm. we talked about it for a couple of days. We, we knew that was the beginning of the end of Richard Sherman in that relationship in Seattle. It was, and it is. Yes. It's over. Mm -hmm. They have started over. I think the beginning of the end was his reaction when the interception oh, happened. Well, you, oh, he was on the sideline. Uh, he the, wanted to cry. Yeah. The trust, the trust was broken. Yeah. That's really what it, it was. was. Yeah. Next little, up. Little Tommy Brady. Little eight, Stop. He, he's like an eight-year-old on Christmas morning. <laughs> Stop. Yeah, that was a gift. They should have right. lost that one so he could be easily. <clears throat> what? Five four rings. and four. Five rings. Four and four. Nope. What is your restaurant, sir? Actually, it should be three and five. Atlanta, five 20, rings. Mm -hmm. yeah. Next up, LSU running back Darius Geis said one NFL team asked him about his.